Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video because we are going to be painting using real flowers as a reference. So I got this just from the supermarket and I have yet to find the name of this flower uh, but it's pretty common. And then uh, I also have it in two colors. So there's a yellow and this purple pinkish color. Let's see how we can combine this later on. But uh, for the paper, I'm going to be using Baohong Academy. Then the, uh, for the paints, I'm using Shinhan PWC. And then for the brush, let's see how it goes. But I'm thinking of using my Da Vinci mop brush. So I usually don't sketch. But um, whenever I'm doing these types of videos, I kind of prefer sketching. Um, so I'm just going to put maybe some lines that will be the stem just so that I have a guide you can see that you you probably don't even um, see the lines here because I'm keeping it really light once you paint on top of a pencil sketch you won't be able to erase it anymore okay so I think I'm good. I guess I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with the main flowers first before adding the stems. So you can see some elongated petals. I'm using permanent yellow light. Okay, then we can start from the left. I'm just gonna paint this small flower. I'm not going to exactly copy the flower. I'm going to make it a little bit different. Just uh, something more expressive. Okay, so let's just paint the elongated petals. I'm going to add permanent yellow deep just to kind of add a different color. Let's grab some sap green. You can add a little bit of this burnt umber. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna spray my my uh, palette with some water so that it's easier to grab the paint. So you can do that a few minutes before you start. So just using the tip of the brush to create these nice kind of wobbly lines. You can rinse your brush. So I'm leaving some spaces in between because I can put like flowers also. Okay, so maybe I can put half a small bud right here. I guess it'd be easier if we had two two brushes so one for fading and one for like the main color let me just show you guys so I have your clean brush I'm gonna use that to fade some of the strokes I'm also gonna use that for the stem Okay, now let's add some water, fade away some of the strokes. Okay, next maybe we can add this purplish pink flower over here. Okay, so I use uh, lilac here. 
Let's see if it's a color that matches this flower. Okay, that's too pink, but we can try to use it. So we're just painting really simple flowers here. And then and we can add another bud over here. We can add a second layer to some of the flowers. I'm using permanent yellow deep. And then you can also try to add a little bit of shadow. I'm using this permanent violet, mixing it with this yellow. To add a little bit more violet. I want a lot of water. Okay, that's too much. Let's grab a little bit of violet and add that to this flower. Okay, so for a more dramatic effect, I'm using my flat brush and just have clean water here. I think we can try and like fade away the colors. Just add some water. And just grab the color from the flowers it's going to slowly fade away so you have to do this after you've painted them because if you let them dry overnight it might be difficult to kind of fade away the flowers Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and maybe just add it right here. And some purplish pink color over here. Later on, we're going to add some splatters. Okay. And we can also add some flowers in the background. Now you want a almost like a damp brush. Okay, 
just to add some effect in the background and also add just some splatters Okay, so it depends on you if you want to add these effects But sometimes I like um, kind of a messy look So this is one of those Alright, so I think that we are done Sometimes I do like playing around with something messier like this It's just more fun And I hope that you enjoyed this mini tutorial Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more art videos. And if you're interested to learn more about watercolor, I have 22 classes on Skillshare. You can just check out the link below to sign up for free for a month. Alright, so I will see you again in the next video. Bye!